Hi everyone, I'm Melissa with Midnight Hour Oil. I wanted to come out today and share a few dreams with you. Uh, one I believe is a warning and the other two are just very encouraging uh, about how we are coming into that time when the Age of Grace is coming to a close and when the church should be looking up because our redemption is drawing near very quickly. All right, so in the first dream back on June 13 uh, this, of this year, I was standing on a beach and I didn't really know where I was at the time. And uh, later when I woke up from the dream, I started doing some research because I had a sense that it was somewhere on the shores of Italy. And uh, as I looked up the pictures, it looked familiar like what I was seeing in the dream. So I believe it was, uh, I was on the shores of Italy and uh, I was watching the water, right? And the water was, it was kind of rolling in, but it was, it was churning more than a normal, just regular flow of water onto a beach. It was like, it was almost like when, when something's getting ready to boil, when water's getting ready to boil. And I told somebody standing near me, I said, the water is probably churning like that because there's a volcano underneath of it. And so uh, I know that there are a lot of active volcanoes right now. And uh, I know that there was a volcano that went off in Italy, somewhere in Italy, it was Pompeo, and uh, it was a devastating volcano. Anyway, so I know there's a lot of volcanic activity over there. So just as a heads up, something to make as a matter of prayer, um, not to cause fear, but when we see things that are happening or could happen, uh, that could be dangerous, deadly, we need to pray about them. We need to bring these things to the Lord. And we know that these things are going to happen. There's going to be a lot of devastating uh, weather events and things that happen that it's just a part of the end time scenario that's unfolding before us. So the most important thing, church, for any of us is just to be ready to go out into eternity at any given moment. I know there's sometimes people who say, well, I'll get right with the Lord on my deathbed or I'll get right with the Lord after the rapture and I see that all of this is real. Uh, but the reality is none of us are guaranteed the next five minutes. We do not know when we're going to uh, face judgment. You know, the Bible tells us that we are all destined to die once and after that to face judgment. And we just don't know when that will be. So a wise person will be ready at all times for that day. Okay, so the next dream. Okay, so in this dream that I had on June 24th, uh, I was I was walking down the street and I went into, uh, it was the church, the first church I ever attended after I was born again. And when I went into the church, uh, the people in there were very judgmental toward me. They were, uh, you could tell they just didn't, they did not expect to see me in there and they didn't like seeing me in there. And I had gone in there mainly to check on the youth, something of that nature. And the pastor was trying to be very diplomatic, but uh, I just, I knew they did not want me there. So I turned and, and walked out. Now in this dream, I'm just gonna tell you, I believe symbolically, uh, this is the overall church, okay? Organized religion, apostasy, all of it, the, the big picture. And I was rejected by that, which is true. And um, so as soon as I came out in this dream, I started to walk down the street and I see this little Yorkshire Terrier uh, that my husband and I see her and her owner on the trails a lot. Her name is Grace, Gracie. And Gracie was old at this point in the dream and I knew she needed to go home. So I picked her up and I was going to take her home and somebody that was on the road said, well, what are you doing with the dog or was asking me about her? And I said, well, she lives at the end of this road that I was on and I'm going to take her home. So I proceeded to take Gracie home. I took her home. So many may feel like I did rejected by organized religion, you know, the, the apostate church, uh, but know that wherever you're at, Grace is there with you. But Grace is going home. There's that time that's coming uh, when those gates are closing and the age of grace is gonna come to an end. And so uh, church, we have a lot to look forward to. 
that day when we are going home. Then on uh, June 26, yesterday, I had this dream. And this dream, I really didn't quite understand it until I was just writing down what I was gonna share. And there was a point Holy Spirit kept drawing me to uh, about the dream that I finally was like, I don't, what does this mean? And then the Holy Spirit gave me the revelation and I'm gonna share this with you. Okay, so in this dream, I just, I'm in the woods all of a sudden. Now these are woods uh, that, you, that were located across the street from the home where I grew up in as a child. So I was very familiar with these woods. And I wasn't trying to get into the woods. I just, I, I was in the woods. I, I was like running for exercise and then I'm in the woods. And so I thought, well, I'll run up to the top of the hill of these woods. And I knew my childhood friend, you know, it led into her backyard. Well, when I got there, it was so steep, I couldn't get out. There was no exit. So I turned around and uh, there was another path that led into the backyard of a neighbor that I thought, well, maybe I can get out this way. Well, it led to their back door, but the door was locked. So I had to go back again. And, and I understood in the dream that the only way out of the woods was the same way I came in, okay? And so here's what this means. This is what the Lord showed me just a few minutes ago. Jesus is our creator. And our, the only way we are in this world is because he placed us here. And the woods are symbolic of this world, a place of darkness, a place of confusion, a place of chaos. And some may try to look to friends and some may look to neighbors and they might be thinking, well, maybe you can help me. Maybe you can help me. Like in the dream, looking for that way out of the woods through my childhood friend and my neighbor. But those are dead ends. There are no shortcuts, okay? When it comes to our exit from this world and escape, there is only one way out. And there is only one hope of escape, and that is through the Lord Jesus Christ. He is the only escape. He is the only one who we can look to to help us to find our way out of this, this wilderness, of this world that we're in. And there's a scripture in Luke 21, 36 that tells us, be always on the watch and pray that you may be able to escape all that is about to happen and that you may be able to stand before the Son of Man. So Jesus is telling us right here that there is an escape. And that the only way to escape is through the Lord Jesus Christ. And he is the only hope that we have of getting out of this wilderness, of this coming time of tribulation, Jacob's trouble, that is, is prophesied to come to the whole world. It's going to hit the whole world. And there was one church, the Church of Philadelphia, uh, who was promised an escape also because she kept the word of the Lord and didn't deny his name. And so because of her faithfulness, she was promised that she would not go through that hour of testing. And so we have to, as the church, as, as somebody who calls themselves by the name of the Lord, uh, we have to be praying always, you know, that we are going to be a part of uh, the group that is counted worthy to escape, uh, that is faithful to the Lord, that does not deny his name, uh, that does not deny his word. All right, so I uh, I believe that this time is coming quickly. The Lord is giving us, so many of us, dreams and visions showing that uh, the time is close. It's very close. So if, uh, if you don't know Jesus as your Lord and Savior, I encourage you to take the time to read the information I provided in the description box about how you can be born again and come to know uh, your heavenly father through the Lord Jesus Christ and enter into a genuine relationship with them. And uh, so I hope and I, I pray church that this message resonates with your spirit as always take this to the Lord in prayer, ask him for confirmations. Uh, but as always, it is my prayer that we will all continue to keep our lamps burning bright while we wait for Jesus. I love you all. God bless you.